Hey, how's it going folks? ET here with another tutorial. Today's tutorial is Final Cut Pro 10. And what we're going to do is actually work with a tool called the Distort tool here. And possibly even a little bit of Transform, but most importantly the Distort tool. I had a kind of I had kind of an idea today and I thought it would be cool to kind of take a picture and then I want to throw a video into a certain non-square kind of angled facing um, spot so what I want to do is actually import that image that I'm talking about so you'll understand what I'm talking about actually so the image I took here is actually let's go ahead and uh, bring it in where did you go okay so the image here is of my living room so I'm gonna go ahead and drag it out so it's a pretty long video and you'll notice that the actual TV here is kind of you know a diagonal or at an angle and then also the Wii U here okay the first thing we're gonna do is let's find a clip we can mess with here and earlier I was looking at this um, I was just in Japan and I went to a Kaiten Sushi or a Kuru Kuru Sushi or a conveyor belt sushi whatever you'd like to call it so I'm gonna drag that clip to the top here okay and you'll notice when you put your scrubber over top the actual video clip supersedes the lower clip and what we want to do is actually make it so that the actual video clip fits inside of this TV here as close as possible I'm not gonna get too crazy with it but also what I want to do is there's some black bars I want to transform this image and actually make it fit so let's get blow this up All right yeah that's good enough okay now let's go back over here and what you're gonna do is go to this little drop down arrow here and you're gonna go to transform and now we have some oh we're on the wrong one hold on let me redo that make sure it's on the right distort not transform I just told you to, how to so now we can actually move this video into any kind of way we want to so what you do is just look for the corner points of that the TV or the window or whatever you want to actually uh, contort the video to make the video fit or contort it in a kind of weird way initially it looks kind of strange but once you get everything all lined up actually doesn't look too bad okay so this one's a little bit off here actually let me move the top one try to get it as lined up as possible and I'm, I'm not working on at this too long but if you wanted to do it really professionally you know you could zoom in and, and make sure your lines are all perfect and everything so that's basically it for that one let's do one more um, is that a video yeah that's a video so I'm gonna grab let me shrink the size of this so we can actually see okay I'm gonna grab a bit of this clip here put that on top there and I'm gonna go ahead and distort that one too and this one's going whoa you gotta be careful how much you distort it because you start going backwards and stuff so this one's gonna go into the Wii U controller or a tablet or whatever it's actually officially called let's get it small enough so we can actually work with it a little bit better there we go okay and this one's kind of at a an angle a bit so again you can kind of got to eyeball it here Could probably zoom it in a little bit but I'm not gonna do that this is just a tutorial to demonstrate some of the functionality it's actually hard to see because it's kind of dark in that corner but yeah good enough so we'll call that done too oh now nah, actually we'll work on that a little bit more because I can see the little gap there all right let's stretch that right there and I'm gonna try to get that right there I 
Okay, I think that's good enough for government. Yeah, that's good enough. So the thing about this is depending on your the speed of your Mac or your Hackintosh, if you have a Hackintosh, um, you're going to have to let this render out before it actually play. And uh, you can see it's in, in uh, orange here, so it's rendering. When I click on the rendering uh, dial here, the percentage dial, you can see it's going to take a bit of time to actually render. So with the magic of editing, I'm going to speed this up and I'm going to cut and we'll be able to see what this looks like. And we're back. Okay, let's see what we got here. Let's go ahead and hit the space bar to play the clip. And you'll notice that... Oh, let me turn on my speakers real quick. You'll notice that the, the audio and the video is playing in the two locations here. Yeah? So it's pretty cool. I mean, you can just use your imagination of all the creative things you can actually do with this feature here. And actually, I thought about it while I was waiting for that to render. Is down here... Even the one on the iPad mini on the on the stand here, actually you can make it work there too. So let's see, let's see how good we are. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and try this one real quick. So I'm gonna pause that. I'm actually gonna use the same clip. So I'll drop this on top, move it over a little bit, and then we we'll hit the transform. And this is gonna be. Oh, make sure you get that corner there so first thing I'm gonna do is actually shrink it up so I can work with it a little bit better okay where's that corner piece I'm gonna uh, I guess move it like so it's gonna be a little bit more tricky but I think we might just be able to make it work let's find out where that thing is, that thing there. Oh, a little bit out of, out of screen there. So I just basically clicked anywhere on the clip, kind of dragged it over. Okay. So let's see what this, will it even play? Let me see something here. That's not perfect, of course, but you know, like I said earlier, if you work with it, yeah, you see the the one hasn't actually finished rendering yet, so it's not even going to play. But you get the idea, yeah? It's pretty cool what the many things you can actually do with. And if you spend some time and actually dial it in precisely exactly where you want it to go, you can make this thing look so realistic. Okay, that's it for the tutorial. If you like this tutorial, don't forget, hit the thumbs up and subscribe. If you don't like the tutorial, hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Okay, guys. And ladies, peace, and of course, much, much aloha sent out to you around the world. We need a lot more aloha. Talk to you next time.